Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm so excited. <laughs> Who guessed that I was gonna say that? Um, it's Christmas, like it's actually Christmas. It feels like Christmas, it is Christmas and I'm not just saying it's Christmas and I'm way ahead of everybody. Everyone knows it's Christmas. So we had a bunch of new cases in our area today. Um, of COVID, if you were wondering what cases means. Um, <laughs> so I am just kind of going to do a mad dash to our local stores just to see if there is anything more Christmassy here in our little village. Uh, I'm going to check out the dollar store. I've taken you guys there one time. Um, that was a little bit earlier in the Christmas season. So I hope they have some more stuff out. Um, and I'm also going to go pick up a prescription at my local pharmacy. And I'm going to take you guys in there because honestly, the store is expensive, but it's supporting local. So that's okay. Um, they usually have some really good stuff in there. So it's always worth taking a look. Sometimes they have, um, you know, local handmade things as well, which is super fun to support. Um, anyways, come along with me. It's going to be very fun. It is Sunday afternoon right now. We had a busy morning. Curtis and I went for a nice long walk with the dog. I had a shower. Can you tell? <laughs> Rocking the curls today. It'll be back in a ponytail before long, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a great day. And I think we're going to watch a Christmas movie later. So maybe I'll have to pick up a few more treats. <laughs> I've been doing good, you guys, because I'm not binging. I'm really not. And that is huge for me. That is huge for me. Just a little, like, eating disorder story here um, before the fun. I am doing really good. I'm doing really good. And yes, I am still on a health journey. I will always be on a health journey. But I'm going to have fun along the way. And if it makes me lose weight slower, psh, who cares? That's fine. I can lose weight slowly. I'm totally okay with that. I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy this journey. I don't want to be restrictive. I don't want to make myself so hungry that I binge my face off. If you want to know more about my eating disorder, there are a lot of <laughs> videos down there. <laughs> I'm sure you can find some if you want to, but it's okay. I'm telling you right now, this journey is going to be a lifelong thing. If I stop going on the journey, if I throw in the towel and say, um, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to eat everything I want and not worry about the consequences. Then I'm going to get diabetes. Period. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. That's a word I always screw up. Um, <laughs> but I know I'm going to get diabetes. There is heart disease in my family. There is diabetes in my family. And um, I already have fatty liver disease. So this isn't like a well, I don't really want to lose weight. It's not about losing weight. It's I need to get healthy. So yes, I can have treats. I can enjoy my life. And I just need to eat as like healthy stuff along with it. I had rice, fish, and broccoli for lunch. Um, I actually didn't have breakfast today, but I have been eating breakfast usually. Just this morning was a coffee morning because Curtis and I walked for probably almost two hours. Anyways, this intro is really long. I just want to tell you I'm excited. <laughs> Come along with me. Let's go down to the village stores here, see what we can find. I am a little concerned that we might move into the red phase. Um, I think it's looking like we might, but I'm, you know, even in the red phase, you can still do shopping. And I know there's like a rule with like buying essential things and non-essential things in some areas, but I'm hoping that won't come here either way. Oh, that's a really yucky thing. Anyways, but you can always buy online, but I don't really want to because it's getting to that point where I stress like really a lot it, when we, because we just actually bought something online and it was on Prime and it's not coming till December 7th and that's on Prime and we ordered it yesterday. Saturday when we were Christmas shopping. Um, yeah. So if Prime is taking more than a week to get here, regular shipping, I got to get my stuff in the mail. Ooh, I got to finish. Well, maybe I should just send the ones off that I have done. That's a good idea. I should do that and finish as I can. It is really time consuming writing you guys back, but it is like, you guys, I'm happy. 
I'm so happy. I feel so blessed. I don't even know how I can explain it to you. I feel so blessed. And there are some kids coming on their bike and I'm just a weirdo sitting in a parking lot talking on my phone. So I love you. Come along shopping with me. We're going to have fun. All right, you guys, I'm back home and you're gonna have to excuse me in this video because Curtis is sitting right over there and he's already teasing me and it could make for a fun video. <laughs> so I went down to the dollar store and, <laughs> and it's stop. Your hair looks gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. Okay, no more, stop looking at me. It's SpongeBob. It's not <laughs> okay, so I went down to the dollar store, then I went to the pharmacy, then I picked the boys up at the skate park, then we went back to the dollar store, then we went to the grocery store, then we went to a convenience store so they could get a slushie, and then we came home. The life of a mom, you guys. Okay, so I want to show you the thing that I am the most excited about. It didn't have a price tag on it. I had no idea how much it was gonna cost. And especially at our dollar store, it's not really a dollar store. Even though it's called the Great Canadian Dollar Store, you guys saw if you noticed some of the tags while I was showing you the clips of my shopping fest. Um, it's just a store and there are many things that cost $20. I knew this wasn't gonna cost me $20, but I had no idea how much it was until I just checked my receipt and saw that it was only $1.50. You guys, literally best thing I bought. Best thing, only $1.50. Like you guys know I'm so obsessed this year with gingerbread men and gingerbread women and gingerbread houses. I honestly think the reason why I really like gingerbread is because it's cozy. It's just cozy. When you look at a gingerbread house, you just feel warm and sugared up. 
you know it's just a good feeling and actually i have a hershey's chocolate tin over on one of my tables and i don't know if this is going to fit in with it but it ha it's like the exact same size so i was really happy to pick this up and there's purples and pinks and it's so pretty oh i love it i love it only a dollar fifty um i had to kick the kids out of here i sent them all down to the gaming room because i did grab a few stocking stuffers winnie does not like bubble gum like this she does like juicy fruit so i'll probably pick her some of that up but the boys like this so i grabbed a couple for them and they were only a dollar fifty each as well i think or two yeah a dollar fifty each or two for three dollars which is the same thing anyways i don't even know oh a dollar fifty each yeah there you go um i grabbed something that was really fun for the giveaway um if you missed that video go ahead and check it out really quick because i'm gonna pick some winners probably within the next couple days um because i want to get that stuff sent off but i have three prizes um, of the bracelets that i found but i thought i would put these in with the bracelets it's just a new brunswick keychain with all new brunswick things and I thought that would be so sweet to have a little piece of my home to wherever you are. So anyways, I thought those were sweet and they were only $1.50 or no, they were $2.50 each. Yes. Or $2 each. Man alive. I don't know. $2.50. Wait. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know how much I paid for them. New Brunswick keychains. Three at $2.50. And you heard my kids. I don't know what they're doing down there, but. I'm sure they're having fun. Um, what else did I get? Okay. I don't need to explain this, do I? The clip thing, Winnie loves the clips. She plays with them at school. She hangs them on her backpack. So I figured this little reindeer friend, which did I buy her this already? Maybe she already has this. Did I buy her this last year or did I get her a different one? Nope. I'm kind of thinking maybe I did buy this last year. It might be a different one. I really don't know. I'll have to go through her toy bin and see. But I think I already did buy this. But it was going to be for her and Sheppy. I thought it could go with our little elf on the shelf. But whatever. We'll find something to do with it either way. Or I'll give it to somebody else. Um, but I know she doesn't have this little hamster one. And these were, this was $3.50 because it's like seasonal. I guess. And this one was $4. And look at the glittery ears. Anyways, um, I think this is just going to go in her stocking and this is going to be for Sheppy. I know I got her a Christmas one last year, but I don't know which one it was. Anyways, maybe I should watch my old Christmas videos because I was hauling a lot of stuff back then too. Um, okay. I grabbed this for Winnie. It's just like an activity book. It was $1.50. She has a lot of coloring books, but I actually loved this one because there's like dot to dot and oh my goodness was that christmas crackers christmas crackers so fun i'm so disappointed because normally winners and marshalls and home sense has like normally they have big sections filled with christmas crackers of like so many different things so many fun things um and if you watch yesterday's vlog winnie and i were playing with these santas these came in our Christmas crackers last year and it came with like this big game board where our Santas were racing each other. So I really do want to find some fun ones, but all the ones I'm finding are just like at the grocery stores, at Walmart and their lame ass adult presents. I don't want to do that. That's no fun. The best ones are the kids ones. Nobody needs nail clippers. Okay. Like be more fun. <laughs> Anyways, dot to dots. Um, I don't know, like find the Santa that's different, match the presents odd one out i just thought this would be a really cool activity book um which is more than just coloring because sometimes winnie is well winnie is a perfectionist like me and actually cooper was the exact same way when he was young if they're drawing a picture or coloring a picture and they don't like how it works out they get upset and they throw it in the garbage right away <laughs> and Cooper did that so much more than Winnie did or does but Winnie still does it so I think it would be fun to just not not oh look amazed not have so much pressure on herself for coloring oh she's got a complex little mind you guys <laughs> she's my daughter that's for sure lots going on up here um 
Okay, so I found these little stockings and I thought they were so, so cute. And I thought I would pick these up for two of the kids that we spend a lot of time with, especially during the summer. Our friends Anna and Rowie and Skylar actually babysits them on occasion as well. And we spend the entire summer with them. Normally we go to a Christmas Eve dinner at Jen's house and Jen is Anna and Rowie's mommy's sister. So like Jen's related to me through Nathan, who's Curtis's brother and Kelsey is Jen's sister. So like we're all related really. And we all grew up together. And if you haven't watched any of the vlogs, you have no idea who I'm talking about, but hit subscribe, join in the fun and have Christmas with us, especially. It's gonna be so fun. Vlogmas starts, by the time you're watching this, I think Vlogmas starts like the next day. I'm like, holy, we're there. It's so exciting. Tuesday, they get to open their chocolate calendar, which is wild. Oh, and there's only one more thing from the Canadian dollar store. I got these. Who has had these before? Uh, Tunnox, I don't know. Tunnox, like Tunnox. Snowball, coconut covered marshmallow. Wow! I actually didn't even read the coconut covered marshmallow. Pillow. <laughs> coconut covered marshmallow part until now, but I've heard of snowballs before, like a candy snowball, and I've never tried them before. And for Vlogmas, I am stashing up a whole bunch of holiday treats and like different holiday foods that are in different packages, you know, new limited edition, limited edition type things um, for us to try someday. So I got some more things to add to that pile. It's kind of hard to not like open up some of the treats because some of them are kind of exciting, but um, yeah, we're just going to wait a little bit and then we will enjoy. Um, at the pharmacy, I picked up a prescription super fun. <laughs> um, and also I grabbed some more of these for Winnie. You already know what that is for. And I actually, when I was at Walmart yesterday, I, um, bought, what was it like parents choice or it was like a cheap version because they didn't have her regular ones. And those are her regular ones. And she wore them last night and they're so ugly. You guys, they're plain white and they're like so big and they're hideous. And I felt bad. I was like, it's okay, Winnie. I'll get you new ones as soon as I can. <laughs> so luckily she only had to wear one of them and now we're gonna have the regular pack. And those ones will be just what we fall back on when mommy is not organized enough to have everything we need, which <laughs> it's been happening lately. There's too much going on. Um, also got some Advils. These are Advil. It's like the off brand, but um, I've bought these many times and they work literally exactly like Advil liquid gels. I actually read the ingredients and they're the same. Only this is $4 cheaper or something like that. So anyways, they work great. Skylar's been having a lot of headaches lately and I live in a world of headaches all the time, <laughs> which you would never guess because I'm quite loud. <laughs> but um, I do take uh, migraine medication every night. Before I go to bed, I had to take a pretty high dose because we've just keep upping it. We've kept upping it. Why? I am English, you guys. I don't know why I can't speak well today. Um, anyways, so the Advil is just for the days that I'm starting to get a migraine and I try to shut her down and just pop pills all day. It's a great time. It's a great life, you guys. So, and you know what else helps? Chocolate. <laughs> it actually does. I'm sure it's not good for me, but sometimes actually yogurt helps sometimes too, but I always find like a nice dark chocolate can actually dull a headache and maybe it's just a craving or something, but I don't know. It does, I don't know. Women, don't try to figure us out. We're too hard. <laughs> Um, you guys, I bought a tree. This was a little too expensive, but I felt like for $15, I could get this tree. And I thought it would go so perfect over on that little table where my light up church is. Cause I thought this could just go behind the church and be like, <sighs> so festive and sweet. It's not a real tree. Like it's plastic, I think, but this is like real wood. 
and so is this, and I like it. And I'm not gonna tell you how big it is in inches because Miranda can't measure things anymore. So this is how big it is. <laughs> Cause you guys know, every time I try to say how many inches something is, the thoughts creep in and I can't even say it. I am very dirty minded and I am sorry. <sighs> I'll tell you exactly how many inches that tree is. How many? We don't know when to stop. <laughs> we have too much fun. Um, I grabbed some of this, which is Gentle Moisture Baby Lotion. I actually picked up the diaper ointment first and I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. Um, this is to go in my purse because Winnie gets rashes around her face, especially with wearing a mask and especially with the cold air. She's getting like dry patches on her face and um, baby lotion really helps. We use... Um, Aveeno baby lotion like all the time, but they don't have small baby Aveeno lotions. So I grabbed this one, which is close to that brand, but um, that's for that. Cause she won't stop licking the inside of her mask. Isn't that weird? I don't, I, it's weird. I know it's weird. Um, speaking of Winnie and speaking of paying too much. Yeah, I paid 650 for this. But I thought this would be perfect, perfect for a Christmas Eve activity for her. Um, I don't know if Sheppy will bring it or if I'll just get it out for her for her on Christmas Eve. But I just thought, come on, like Santa, Mrs. Claus, there's elves, everything's happening. And it like folds out to be like a Christmas scene. And yeah, maybe I would have found this cheaper somewhere else. Um, but because the COVID cases are going up, I really don't want to be like shopping like crazy until we're sure what's going on. And if they end up closing down other stores, then, oh, I just, there's so many unknowns right now. I just want to finish shopping. Well, I'll never finish shopping because I actually really like shopping. So anyways, I just want to make sure that I feel like I have enough for my kids. And I know that I do, but I just, I want to get there and be like, I have so much for the kids. I don't even know if I can give it all to them. I might have to give this to somebody else's kid. You know, that's, that's where I want to be. I want to be so cushioned with so many like things and like spoiling items that I just feel like Santa Claus. That is my goal. Cause if you guys know, I have the official term of shit remover. That is my term for this Christmas season. I'm going to be removing shit off of any person that comes into contact with me. So just see me as your tied to go shit remover. That's me. I will clean you off. I will make you feel Christmassy. There will be no lasting residue. There will be no scent. It will be beautiful Christmas like pine and candles <laughs> and cookies. All the best. So that's where I want to get. I want to get to the point where it's like, oh my goodness, I couldn't possibly go shopping again. It's never happened. I'd like to get there. <laughs> so I think this is the last thing that I got. And it is kind of very exciting because I got a Christmas pickle. You guys told me so many stories about um, your traditions. And I've heard about this dang little Christmas pickle many times. And many of you guys um, commented back to me in one of my videos about a Christmas pickle. And I was like, why don't I have a Christmas pickle? I love Christmas. I love pickles. Get you a Christmas pickle. So I found that at my pharmacy and it was only $6.99. I'm going to open it and see what it actually looks like on the inside because I did not do that in the store. It's cute. It's like glittery. It's got glittery little, 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 little. <laughs> sometimes that happens. Glittery, oh, glittery little nubbins is what I was trying to say. I talk so fast that my brain can't keep up with what I'm trying to say. So anyways, that's adorable. So I think the idea is that I do only hide it on Christmas Eve. It says the pickle brings a year of good luck to the lucky child who finds it hung deep in the boughs of the Christmas tree. 
I don't know. It's adorable. And I think, do you only, I don't know. Let me know. I think you only hide it on Christmas Eve. And then I know some people have said, uh, the person who finds it gets an extra present or the per person who finds it gets to pick the first present to open. Like they get to be the first person to pick a present and open it. Anyways, I love all the ideas. So keep them coming because I want to spoil my kids they, you guys already know, they ha they're good kids. They're not gonna be like, ooh, mine, more, more, more. That's not how my kids are. My kids are very grateful for everything they receive and that's the way that they're always going to be. And if they're not, then we're gonna have a problem. I'm sure they're not gonna act. Like, what is that kid from, oh my goodness, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Is it Veruca? When she's like, daddy, I want a pony now. He's not listening to me anymore. What did you do? The dog is attacking me. <laughs> Are you going to do some sign language again? <laughs> he thinks it's so weird when I'm vlogging, guys. He's still not very used to it. But thank you guys for liking his little reindeer. That's really sweet to see how many of you think my husband is so talented. I personally think he is very talented. A bit of an idiot. Oh, absolutely an idiot. Like... <laughs> very much an idiot, but we're idiots together and it works. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I am so excited. Yes, I am. And it is going to be a great week. It's the advent is starting. Um, the Christmas is going on. I think we should actually, are we going to watch Christmas movie? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to end this video so I can get it uploaded and I think the next video I post is going to be me getting ready for Vlogmas. And then the video after that is going to be our first Vlogmas video. And Vlogmas is just a term that YouTubers use. It's still Christmas. Keeping Christ in Christmas, he is the birthday boy. Don't even worry about that. But people call it Vlogmas just because it's a YouTuber thing. But for me, it's Christmas with a vlog but Vlogmas. Anyways, just don't get it twisted. I know whose daughter I am. All right. I love you guys and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys. Hello. <laughs> I just want you to see what I had to look at the whole video. <laughs>